In this lesson, we'll tackle a new situation. We'll start with one loop as a background, followed by a second loop that will act as a picture-in-picture picture, and will fly through our composition from left to right, followed by a second pip flying from right to left. So let's get started with creating a background. We pick layer 1 and choose a loop as a background, get the opacity up, choose the play loop command and save it all to the timeline. And now we want a pip loop to fly from left to right, which we'll do by getting the opacity up, trigger the play loop command and then we scale the pip to the size we need. We'll move it to the left using the x-axis so that it disappears from the screen. This we will then save to the timeline. Let's assume we want the clip's movement to be 5 seconds long, so plus plus 500, and now we move the x position of the clip to the other side so that it disappears there. We save it all to the timeline. So let's remember that the first clip takes 5 seconds to get to the other side. Now we can do the same for the next pip. We choose a layer and after we've chosen the layer we will then select a clip and as you know by now fade up the opacity, play loop command and then we'll scale it to the right size. We will just quickly double check that we really have the right size because this time around we will start with the other side, so on the right side, and we'll save it at the precise moment or rather at the precise position where the clip has completely disappeared. And once more after storing it, plus plus 500 or 5 seconds and now we just change the position of the clip to where it will end up and we'll save that onto the timeline. Let's take a look at it all. The background runs smoothly, clip 1 is going from left to right and then clip 2 is going from right to left.